Hi guys, welcome back again to the new video since the last video, so well, I got quite a decent response from that. Uh, I figured that I'm going to go down and I'm actually going to go into the power station just show you a little bit about inside it. Now I've got a, I've not got, actually got a dust mask, but uh, I brought an old jumper that I'm just going to wrap around my, my mouth so I'm not breathing in any sort of um, asbestos dust or anything like that that could possibly like, just kill me basically. So. Uh, we'll head down here, and we should be there shortly. Initially I was going to come down here a lot earlier than I actually am. It's about 7 o'clock right now, and the sun is practically, the sun's practically setting. Um, shouldn't it get dark till about 9 o'clock anyway, so that'll do the trick. Give me enough time to get a few shots from round about the building. As far as I'm aware, there's only one 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 way in and one way out. Um, so I'm kind of walking across the, the fields. Seems to be a lot of cars over there. Don't know what that's all about, but walking down this road and then we'll make our way inside. Pretty scary but Look at me, uh, a subject that I'm walking down here. Um, in the last video I had a comment or a, a PM asking me about this area and the security and stuff like that. Uh, well there is a security box like, directly over that direction where I'm pointing the camera right now. Uh, but the past few times I've been down here, nobody's actually bothered with me, surprisingly. Uh, but there hasn't been, well, I wouldn't say every time I've been down here, but there's been a few times that the security has stopped and said, oh, you can't come down here, guys, this is uh, private property and stuff like that. But, as I say, the past couple of times hasn't been too bad, so I'll just leave it at that and I'll take that as a kind of a kind of sign. So as long as you're not doing anything, you know, as long as you're not doing anything, vandalism, blah blah blah, then I can imagine it being fine. Probably your answer there, why the security doesn't want uh, so much people in, because of the amount of files that are actually set in here. Um, I can imagine how much of a pain that would be to get in and fight. put that fire out. But that's probably why, because that's... That's a full hull just been destroyed, just for the sake of somebody putting a lighter to a, a bush, you know. Find that a bit, a bit overkill to be right. fair. Now that we're here, I'm going to be making my way in over this bit here. Uh, you used to be able to get in a small door round the corner there, but they've actually filled it in with some uh, rubble and stuff like that, so it's clear to say that I'll not be getting in that way at all. So I'll let you know when we're there. Basically where the last video was took, you just make my way in from the generator room, which is just right here. Our way up these ladders, and well, uh, one of the creepiest things about this building is the fact that most of the floors in here are made of this kind of mesh uh, wire stuff. So, practically, whatever how high you are up, you can see right through, right down to the bottom. And some of them are quite, quite shaky. I know there's some stuff there that's kind of shaking, but trust me, you can feel it. <sighs> There's a bit of a squeeze getting up here. There's a there's a panel there that's not even not even on the floor anymore. So it's technically it's a bit dangerous if you <laughs> if you ask me. But there's a couple. Of, I've done it a couple of times. So it's not that bad. If you look over there, you'll see a small 
plate that's missing and there's a few there but up until there it's not so bad right this is about the area that I'm pro probably gonna have to put on the kind of jumper that I brought to stop the dust from getting inside my my lungs and that so bear with yeah. me apologies if you can't really hear the best through this but it's as best as I can do so I'll wrap my wrap myself up and sealed it at the bottom so we're just going to walk along this path here as you can see it's pretty high but uh, I'm going to bottle on and you should see this it's pretty scary so I'm not even going to attempt to walk in this here because that's practically on a beam um, so I'm actually going to do it at the sides so it's pretty scary oh my god this is for the entertainment of you so that's me across it and I'm just going to walk down God knows what's down there, no idea, uh, but I can go to the control room, which practically this entire floor is practically the control room, um, so we'll show you that, pretty good stuff, a lot to see in here. So, this is a control room. attempt to go up these uh, stairs there that you can see and I'm also gonna I'm gonna go down here first um, a decent amount of stuff to see so that must have been the old furnaces uh, there's a bit from the stairs that you can actually see in fact you can, these uh, patterns here on the roof were uh, feeders that come down into the furnaces uh, but I'll show you that when I'm up there it's like a big pit basically and it feeds I'm sure it feeds into them but if we go walk across here more, more stairs pigeons up there that decide to give you a bit of fright so as you can see all the, the wire the wire here that people's uh, been coming down here for for the practical years. But more stairs across. This is some sort of uh, control room. Currently inside the power room uh, slash you know, machinery room. This end is practically like a, it looks a, bit like a kitchen. But if we, I'm going to actually attempt to make my way to the roof here. Okay, so if you just follow me, obviously you're done. So. The place is practically a home um, for pigeons, it's really just a big pigeon hut um, with a lot of wasted materials and machinery that's just 
obviously no longer working over the amount of years that it's been out of use for but eh uh, I'll go in nah, in fact I'll go up to the roof first I'll go up to the roof first and then I'll kind of come back down and then we'll see a little bit more right so I'm going to make my way up these stairs This must have been and they were all to, to smoke back in the day. Just taking my time get up these. dark up here and I can't really see a thing to be fair so I figured the best thing to do was put the light on so you guys can see stuff as well as I can so there's a lot of cobwebs up there but onwards and upwards I think this is us nearly coming to that uh, pit that I was telling you about. This is me on the roof, uh, the building. Somebody's been lighting a few fires over there as we speak. Um, I did hear someone, so I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over. I don't know if they're still kicking about. Just have to wait and see. Now as I showed you last time, um, the scale of this building is really really large so you can't really see depth like when you're up here you don't really know how small a person would be from the bottom but as I say it is a really really large building on the torch up. So I don't think you can see right down there, but that's basically the pips that I was telling you about. It's just under there.
So guys, that concludes the video. Um, hope you enjoyed that. That is one of the creepiest things that you could possibly endure in your life. And I am not kidding when I say that. Seriously. Seems to be a lot of smoke 